Yo, yo, yo. So, uh, I really wanted to make an amazing and special impact video of uh, 100 subscribers already. Uh, still can't believe it. it when uh, I started my first YouTube channel, Russian YouTube channel, back in 2015, when I got to like 40 subscribers, I was like, damn, I, I, I cannot go higher than that. And uh, I always respect people who have reached, you know, 100, 1000, 10,000 more subscribers. Because it's a lot of work and uh, energy coming from yourself to really deliver the value and uh, keep a person the at attention to your video. And uh, yeah, some people do it with memes and uh, stupid shit, but I want to captivate you. So when you click out from the video, you will be remained with something useful, something impactful, even if you heard this advice before, even if you stumbled across this kind of a content before relating self-development, uh, creativity, filmmaking, anything. But by hearing the same thing, but each person offering their own perspective side of things, you can start to increase your awareness about a specific principle. And uh, you will find new ways to get better because everybody is on self improvement, but everybody are doing more or less in their own way because we live in different countries, cities, different culture, upbringing, uh, environments, and so on. So everybody is playing with their tools available uh, at the best capacity as they, as they can. As they're aware of so of course if you increase your awareness you will see we have way more opportunities than you realized and uh, the short video I want to tell about is the discipline and the importance of discipline and how I acquired it and uh, what I can offer you as a simple thing you can try on and it will be like you know investing you start to put uh, $10 a month, $10, $10, $10, and over the course of 30 years or 50 years, you will get like pretty much solid, uh, solid money you can use for retiring. It's just one example. But uh, my advice would be in the sense that I will off uh, tell you, okay, you invest $10, then you see it's it's fine, then you can increase to 20, 50 and so on. So giving, getting into the backstory, right? Uh, how I built my discipline. And to be honest, it was by accident. Uh, it, it's thanks to my back then authoritative mother. She was accomplishing her wishes through myself so uh, she really wanted to practice swimming right and when I was eight years old she gave me to a swimming team swimming course and I and the trainer was uh, an old great lady having this uh, Soviet Soviet mindset and uh, she was very strict, but also she shared tough love uh, to the kids back then. I mean, I was eight and what I had to do was, okay, I was going to school. And after school, every day, Saturday included, I had to go to swim, which was on the other part of the city. So I had to catch the bus from the city center to go from one area of the city 
and from that area to go to the other one. So it was like one, the two areas uh, apart. And I was doing this every day and I was doing it because, you know, I had to. I was not really questioning myself. I was like, yeah, I think I like swimming. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, I will have good posture if I will keep swimming. And I did this for five years. Five, five years sounds a lot. But when you're a kid, it doesn't. Like, I was 13. Always, almost uh, reaching my puberty, I would say. Like, I would say before reaching my puberty. Uh, in one day, I could not fall asleep because uh, my mind was giving me the vision that I want to look strong and muscular. I really... Since a child, since a five-year-old, I was inspired by having an aesthetic and strong physique. And somehow this kind of was implanted in my subconscious that this is a standard. I have to do whatever I can and what it takes to look a certain way. To not be fat and chubby and stuff. But funny enough, I was chubby at 13 years old. Uh, eating a lot of bread, right? <laughs> uh... And I hated this. I really, I was very conscious back then. And when I started meditating, it kind of accelerated, of course. And uh, also at, at that age, I had to transition to the uh, an older team. And I had to switch the trainer. And that kind of required um, a more intense dedication. I had to go to the swimming pool, which as, again is on the same location, the other part of the city, before school. Then I'm doing my school stuff. Then after school, I'm going back again. So I'm training twice a, a day, which back then for me, it was something impossible to comprehend. I mean, who would really want to wake up very early in the morning to go to train at something that you don't really, that you stopped enjoying, you know, that is not resonating with your, with your goal. And I know for sure that with swimming, I would not achieve a certain muscular look. So I decided to switch gears. Uh, it was one of the first time when I finally took my own decision and told my mom, even though she was authoritative back then, I don't want to go to swimming. Uh, it's too much, like training two times a day and this argument was enough for her to say yeah okay i understand yeah school is better you will not be one of the best swim swimmer i mean i was pretty good uh from the feedback like i had a good technical side of doing the swimming uh, i would say protocols right but i was lacking speed and endurance and that kind of thing and uh, what happened is that I was like, okay, I knew I had to do something, you know, like, okay, I am not going to swimming every day, but what should I do every day? So I decided, okay, I will wake up in the morning daily, do some push-ups, do some ab exercises. And uh, also along the way, my father got me two, four kilograms of dumbbells and one, actually no, the, the, uh, two years later I bought an eight kilogram dumbbell for myself. And, uh, I was training every morning, just like a light exercise and every evening. And uh, looking back, it was counterproductive in terms of muscle growth. I did not nail the nutrition as well and I could not go to the gym because I was like still too young and uh, my parents were afraid I will stop my growth if I will uh, go into the gym and lift heavy weights. Never, never, nevertheless, I kept doing it and yeah, it was hard. I was like struggling and uh, my puberty hit up and I started to grow very tall and... Uh, Suddenly, I lost a lot of weight, got uh, more fit. But because I was keeping training regularly, 
I started already to develop some chest and some uh, good uh, arms and abs. And where I'm going with this. So uh, if you have trouble to keep discipline, to maintain discipline, I would say start with training. Because, you know, in our daily lives, we sit our, at the desk, at the computer, doing stuff, doing studies, doing uh, schoolwork, uh, all this kind of shit. I mean, it's like physically passive stuff. So it's really difficult to, to tell you, okay, be disciplined reading a book. So it's another passive thing, which will kind of frustrate your brain. So start small, you know, just uh, wake up and decide, okay, every day after work, after school, start after work or school, if you uh, have trouble to wake up early in the morning, you know, it takes time and mental capacity to do that. And start lightly, very lightly, as lightly as you can. Okay, I will do like 50 push-ups, you know, every day, every single day. Or I would do like 50 push-ups and then 50 squats the next day. Just simple, basic exercises. Look at YouTube, how, what is the correct form. Keep learning the good form and uh, you just keep doing it. You know, you keep doing it, you know, one month pass, two months pass. Just keep yourself this, just show up, you know, because no matter how tired you are or how uh, overstressed you are, you can just uh, get on the floor and do some fucking push ups. And this kind of will build your neural pathways in your brain that. Doing training is something normal. And then you will get bored. That's that's important. You will get bored. That's why I keep telling to eliminate cheap dopamine in my Twitter. Actually, subscribe below. And uh, you'll get bored and then you're like, okay, actually, let me do some variations of push-ups. Okay, let me, let me do arch push-ups or uh, Hindu push-ups. Or like, let me put my legs on the chair to increase the pressure on my chest and do the push-ups. So you see where I'm going, like you just focus purely on building the habit to show up and over time it kind of amplifies, you will start to feel more comfortable of moving your body and then suddenly you will find yourself that this dif discipline will leap on other areas of your life. Because you are training and you are moving, you uh, will be more sharp with your brain you start to understand why you have to eat certain foods because you have certain energy to do things. But what I am offering you now on this video is just the beginning. Trouble with discipline? Well, pick up a random exercise, do it regularly, especially when you don't feel like it. Keep doing it, it will increase your confidence, it will increase your good habit and you will see over time how it will impact and a leap on the other areas of your life so this is what uh, happened to me and keep happening i'm getting more and more serious uh, with training i got a weighted vest currently training with uh, 15 18 uh, kilograms so getting pretty good and strong i will not take this video longer so uh, thank you for watching i really appreciate 100 subscribers and uh, I will think about preparing something beautiful for you guys. And I hope you will enjoy. And I'm, I'm really looking forward for you to enjoy it. And again, uh, thank you. And uh, see you on the next one. Peace.